More nurses could be added to the public service by the end of this year. Details of this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for today, Tuesday, October 30th, 2018, I am Rakesha St. Louis. The Ministry of Health anticipates the inclusion of new nurses in the public service by year end. That announcement by Health Minister Honorable Nicholas Steele at the government's weekly post-cabinet media brief on Tuesday. Minister Steele says the batch of nurses will graduate from St. George's University with a Bachelor of Science degree in November. The health sector has been placed under the microscope on many occasions as it seeks to improve services to the public and enhance its human resource. We eagerly await the first graduating class, which should be in November of, of nurses from SGU with, with a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. Um, SGU is working hand in hand with our nursing council to make sure that the, the, all the T's are dotted, all the, uh, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted with respect to certification. But the first batch will be graduating um, and for, successfully with a Bachelor's of Science degree. Minister Steele says integrating new nurses into the system will improve the scope of work at the hospital and other health facilities on island. He hopes that most, if not all, of the qualified nurses will be employed under the public service. I expect a, a, an enhancement. Um, as always, we are confined within the rules and regulations of um, the, the public service agreements that we have made with or, or through the debt restructuring period. So I would like to, and I'm working to have each and every one of those nurses in the system. Um, but there will be, as we have done in the past, there will be methods that are not the usual expected coming on to the system as an established worker. But I want those individuals as quickly as possible to be serving the public. And I am sure those individuals, having been qualified, um, want to serve the public. So as Health Minister, I will be working with our Minister of Finance and Department of Public Administration to find ways for these individuals to come into the service. Grenada's Citizenship by Investment program, described as a model for other countries, continues to make a significant contribution to Grenada's economic growth. During last week's post-cabinet briefing, Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, assured that they will continue to ensure due diligence in the program. Grenada has done very well financially. Part of the reason for the economic growth in the country has been the CVI program. Right now, I can tell you, this year we are earning over $60, 70000000 million in the CVI program already. So you could imagine what it will do for us um, um, in the coming months and years ahead. So we, for we believe that it's necessary, but we must have a CBI that does not create problems for us. So if there are problems raised by anyone or any institution or country, we have to examine it, see how we can correct any weakness, and move on. This is The National Report. We'll have more news after the break. On November 6, 2018, Grenadians will go to the polls to vote in a referendum. The polls open at 6 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. Remember, first check the voters list outside the polling station before seeing the poll clerk who will enter your name into the poll book. The presiding officer will then instruct you how to vote before issuing you with a folded ballot paper. After voting, remember to fold the ballot paper how it was given to you. You will then immerse your finger into the electoral ink before placing your ballot into the box. This is a message from the Parliamentary Elections Office. Welcome back. Fourth and fifth form students from secondary schools on the island will be engaged in an electronic career day on Thursday, November 1st, as part of the Grenada Coalition of Services Week. This year, the week of activities has been observed under the theme, Services, How We Grow. The GCSI's chairman, Hugh Bernard, said the forum will expose the students to experts who will guide them through various career paths and decision making. Where we bring together all the, you know, the, the, the experts in the different fields in one place and we link them up electronically. This time we're going to be using, I think, with YouTube 
the fourth and fifth forms of every secondary school in Grenada and Carico will have access to that feed. They can listen to persons, experts in the field, telling them what are some of the basic requirements and the prerequisites for developing that field, let them know what life is in that area, what opportunities are there. He said the aim is not only to focus on the entrepreneurs, but to give guidance to those who are upcoming. The service industry in Grenada accounts for over 60% of the country's gross domestic product. At a recent government media brief, Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell said an increase in services means more growth and positive projections for the economy. There is increased economic activity in construction, tourism, transport, retail, trade sectors, and of course in services in general, whether it's education services or other services, we, we are seeing in tremendous increases and it's the case of St. George, St. George University, the case in point, where, as you know, is over 22% of the GDP of the country. So whatever happens at St. George University affects the overall growth in the economy of the country. The students will converge at the Grenada Boys Secondary School's laboratory on Thursday for the session. The 2018 Services Week will end with an award ceremony on Friday. And finally, as the day for making the decision to accede to the Caribbean Court of Justice draws near, Grenadians are reminded that they will vote at the same polling stations as they did on March 13th. Health Minister Honorable Nicholas Steele during the government's weekly cabinet brief said although the referendum is not a general election, the same rules will apply on November 6th. You go vote at the polling station that you would have voted at the last election. So just to clear up if there's any confusion or misconception, wherever you went to, to vote um, in, in March, on March the 13th, that is where you will go to vote on November 6th. Orderly conduct and, and of, of individuals within a polling station area. Most of you will have seen already the marks on the road clearly identifying where polling stations are. And, and the rules with respect to voting are the same for an election within that polling station area. So the consumption of alcohol, the, the, the um, congregating of people inside, etc., only to line up to vote, and then you are to leave the voting area. He explained that individuals can vote with or without their national identification card. An individual does not does not need to have a voter registration card to vote at a polling station. They must have their name on the list and they must be identified or recognized by the returning officer or individuals within the polling station who are working for the election and boundaries office. Um, it is safer for individuals to walk with their voter registration card and a form of ID. Polling stations open from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. on referendum day, November 6th. That story just ended the national report for today, Tuesday, October 30th. Let's recap the top story. More nurses could be added to the public service by the end of this year. On behalf of all those who made this newscast possible, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for viewing. Until next time.